Notable films such as Slumdog Millionaire, Aaron Brockovich, and Rudy. What do these all have in common, one may ask? Well, my friends, it is the fact that each of these motion pictures include the theme of self-empowerment. Regularly shown as a person's determination to achieve a certain task, the theme of self-empowerment is common within various films, both modern and classic. A character's development of self-empowerment often goes hand-in-hand with the turning point of a film's plot, which is in part what makes it such a truly inspirational and captivating theme. Having said that, in the following I'll explore the various interpretations of this theme and I'll examine its presence in films, how it is represented through specific character examples, and lastly, I'll discuss its significance and impacts on modern culture. First off, two simple questions. One, what is self-empowerment? And two, how does one become self-empowered exactly? Well, according to the dictionary definition, self-empowerment can be defined as deriving the strength to do something through one's own thoughts. In my opinion, though, to become self-empowered is, in its simplest form, to take charge of your own life in order to achieve a particular task or goal. In movies and other media, however, the role of self-empowerment is quite different, in the sense that it is almost always executed to the extreme. When characters become self-empowered, they often dedicate every single ounce of themselves to the achievement of a task or the actualization of a dream. In other words, they go to extreme lengths. As illustrated by Rudy, for example, quitting his job in the movie titled Rudy, or Aaron Brockovich sacrificing everything to fight off a major corporation in a heated legal battle. So this idea of self-empowerment extremes in media is perfectly exemplified in the ever-classic sports drama titled Rudy. This movie depicts the life of an aspiring football player who goes by the name of Daniel Rudy Rudiger. Despite being faced with massive obstacles such as money, overall skill, and physical size, Rudy one day decides to essentially drop everything and dedicates himself to achieving his dreams of playing football at the University of Notre Dame. This turning of the plot was his development of self-empowerment. This is extreme because in order to achieve a spot on the squad, Rudy literally changes his entire lifestyle, his whole living situation, and his outlook on life in general. The next prominent media character that illustrates this idea of self-empowerment being taken to the extreme is none other than Aaron Brockovich, star of the movie Aaron Brockovich. This movie depicts the journey of an unemployed single mother who rises to prominence as a controversial lawyer. In the film, Erin decides that she has to find a job at all costs. In her work at a small law firm, she discovers that she gets no respect from her co-workers. She dreams of being viewed as a person of integrity, and this drives her to become self-empowered. So what does she do? She takes on a massive corporation in court and eventually wins the legal battle despite threats, family tension, and other oppressive obstacles. Her journey shows the sheer strength of self-empowerment. The third film character that I would like to discuss is Chris Gardner from The Pursuit of Happiness. Chris Gardner perseveres through a nearly one year struggle with homelessness, all in order to provide for his family. He rose above the pain and suffering and fought for something that he believed in. Thus he became self-empowered not only for himself but for the sake of his loved ones. And this is significant because it shows how self-empowerment is not always completely centered on fulfilling personal needs. Sometimes, like in Chris Gardner's case, it involves caring for the well-being of others. Now let's compare. What do the film characters Rudy, Chris, and Aaron have in common? All of these characters become self-empowered and dedicate themselves to achieving a task or actualizing a dream at all costs. Basically, they attempt to achieve something with all odds against them. Now that you have an understanding of numerous media examples of self-empowered characters, a question is ultimately raised. What are characters' reasoning behind their decisions to become self-empowered and dedicated to a task? Well, in general, the reasoning for character self-empowerment can be classified into one of two categories. First, characters become self-empowered for personal gains and incentives. Two examples of this are, as I mentioned before, Rudy for the movie Rudy, and then there's also George Jung from the movie Blow. Rudy just wants to become a Notre Dame football player to fulfill his childhood dreams. And in that sense, it's kind of selfish. And George becomes self-empowered and decides to pursue drug dealing as a means of becoming filthy rich, which is also very selfish. The other main reason for becoming self-empowered is far less selfish and is for the sake of others. This is much more common in films and is obviously much more noble as well. 
Aaron Brockovich exemplifies this by protecting the rights of an entire town. Chris Gardner, in pursuit of happiness, shows this by becoming self-empowered to find a job to support his family. And finally, there's Jamal from Slumdog Millionaire, as Jamal becomes self-empowered for the sake of love. He uses his position on who wants to be a millionaire as leverage to find his long-lost lover. In regards to his influence on society, self-empowerment is a very positive concept. It conveys healthy messages about conquering obstacles in life, and more often than not, media role models are very self-empowered. Harry Potter is a media character that fully embodies this, and because of that, he has garnered a massive global following. Harry Potter and numerous other media and film characters, such as superheroes and strong father figures, are often viewed as role models, and they very well should be, because the characteristics that define them are characteristics of a good human being. Ideally, this is how all media should be represented. To come full circle, being self-empowered is being devoted to taking control of your own life. In various media forms, there is a specific turning point where the main protagonist makes a life-changing decision to become completely devoted to a task or achievement of a certain goal. This is shown in the media constantly, and simply put, I believe that this is what each and every human being should strive for, self-empowerment.